oh boy, what a disappointment it was. But I'm going to say something weird right now that is against even the things that I myself said. So yeah, in this video, we're going to be reviewing Mass Effect Andromeda and decided whether it is worth it to buy right now or not. And of course, as always, I'm going to be giving you the answer right away to not waste your time and just, well, give it time to do whatever you want or work or maybe watch my other videos or anything like that. And the answer is this. Actually, Mass Effect is good game. Yes, Mass Effect is a good game, but it's actually a bad Mass Effect game. And in today's day and age, on a discount, this game is actually absolutely worth it to buy. So yeah, let me explain. And before that, if you like my videos, or if you will like my video after watching this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, because weirdly enough, only 1% is actually subscribed to my channel. One. Uh, well, I guess that's what I deserve. Now. Mass Effect. So for the ones who doesn't know what even is Mass Effect Andromeda, Mass Effect Andromeda was the biggest disappointment of the Mass Effect franchise and one of the biggest flops in, well, gaming history. But was it that bad though? Mass Effect Andromeda is at the moment the latest iteration of the Mass Effect franchise and, and it's more like a spin-off than a mainline entry. The game begins, or rather the game cutscene begins between Mass Effect 2 and 3 and starts with a few races including humans leaving the Milky Way galaxy because they know that the Reaper invasion is imminent. And they're going to Andromeda Galaxy to, well, possibly build a new civilization there after the Milky Way civilization will die. It takes a few hundred years to get to Andromeda Galaxy because, yeah, even with the sci-fi tech, Andromeda Galaxy is way too far for any tech to reach very quickly. And, yeah, we play as a rider. We are playing as the son of Pathfinder and, well, future Pathfinder, son or daughter. You, can, you, you have actually a choice. And when we arrive, we realize that, yep, uh, this galaxy or this cluster, or which is a Helios cluster, is actually not as a paradise as we thought. And there are some issues going on and we need to solve our problems. And well, that's what the game is all about. As we go, we uncover the larger mysteries around the Helios cluster, but yeah. The main concept is that. You know, Gameplay-wise, it is exactly the same as all the other Mass Effect games. It's a third-person shooter RPG. And to be fair, it's not bad at that one. Well, the shooter part, at least. As you go through the game, the game has a few different classes. That is a mix of three different main, well, paths. It's either combat, biotic, or tech. And you, the classes are the combination of those three, or all three, or the purely one of them. And as you go through the game, you actually unlock the ability to switch between the classes on the fly, giving you a huge number of abilities to work with. Plus, you have a few different weapons from assault, from assault rifles, SMGs, pistols, shotguns, sniper rifles. It's all the RPG shenanigans. You just go and up, upgrade your weapons, getting better weapons, level up, etc, etc, etc. Almost all the time in your team, you have two other team members that you can actually command and, and they're actually playing roles in a combat. And uh, I won't lie to you. To be fair, the combat in the game is overall minute to minute gameplay is actually pretty fun. You're traveling from planet to planet and each planet is actually kind of like a mini open world to itself where you need to well explore, take quests and well do the, well and do when open world open world things and each and every planet has their own distinct flair like one is overly hot, one is overly cold, one is overrun with the jungles, one is irradiated and your main goal on the planet is actually to well cure the planet first and well solve the problems on the planet. Travel on a planet with your Mako which is your well uh, your all-wheel drive tank thingy and to be fair again minute to minute gameplay is actually pretty fun driving mako is pretty cool and the combat is actually not as boring as many would think i still prefer a little mass Effect 3 combat because it's a bit more fluid but it's actually damn close except for one thing the ai ai is dumb as nails yeah it's it's unless you're playing on a higher difficulties yeah it's going to be like breeze to go through an enemy so yeah that's that's a thing that i need to say the graphical game looks pretty fine even to for today's day and age and yeah all those faces have actually been well more or less fixed so it's actually looks it's actually looking pretty okay but if all of this is fixed why mass effect andromeda did not make a comeback like for example no man's sky did well because of the one thing that cannot be fixed with patches the story. But what everybody thinks, story was the key part of the Mass Effect. Story and characters. Well, it's just meh. It just, it's just okay and average. Characters are not as memorable and you might remember only few of them and only few things about few of them. Unlike the Mass Effect, unlike the original trilogy character, which if you play them, you know them and you know them well. Here, it's not like that. And even the main story is pretty okay-ish. It's pretty inconsistent. It goes sometimes very quickly, sometimes very slowly, and at the end it just jumps everything on you and 
To be fair, I had a hard time understanding what that, whatever the hell happened near the end of the game. The villain is very lackluster, and the villain is like, yeah, I'm a bad guy, and I'm gonna, well, destroy everything, and yeah, I'm gonna be... Uh, well, <laughs> Yeah, it, it's just boring. Now, I'm talking by being fan of the Mass Effect games. If I wasn't a fan of the Mass Effect game, uh, that's why the story is pretty bad. But if I would discuss this in isolation, it's not good, but it's, well, okay. The world around you is more or less fleshed out, and it's like unpolished Mass Effect story. It's okay, it's still there. There are some, there's some great elements that could be made from there, but it's... It's pretty uncooked. It's 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 not there. As a standalone from every other Mass Effect, it's okay, but as a Mass Effect, it's it's a, a meh at best. But now circling back to the main question. Is it worth it though? Now let's discuss the pricing of this game, and yep, in this case it's pretty important. So the game is available on Steam for the base price of $29.99 for tier 1 and tier 2 countries, and can go as low as $7.49 for both tier 1 and tier 2 countries. The game is also available for free on a game pass, so you can play it there as well. So now is it worth it? For free, on a Game Pass, if you have never played the Mass Effect games? Yep, absolutely. You're gonna enjoy it, and this will be the best, well, kind of best, worst intro for the Mass Effect universe, because after that, it's going to be only better. If you have played Mass Effect games, yeah, uh, on a Game Pass, yeah, it might be a disappointment, but yeah, you just need to play it because, yeah, it's, it's just more Mass Effect. It's worse Mass Effect, but it's more Mass Effect. For everyone else, for a full price, nope. Don't get this game for the full price. It's not worth it because most likely you're going to find it on a discount. And on a discount for $7.49, yes, absolutely yes. This is 100% must buy for this price because I have a pretty meh story for Mass Effect and average to above average story for, well, as a standalone game. The gameplay is actually pretty good and pretty fun and, and the world around and, and the world itself, the open world itself is pretty fleshed out for you to have quite a lot of fun. It's not gonna be fun that you will memorize for the years ahead, but it's fun enough to keep you interested at least until you finish the game. And for this price, yep, it's absolutely worth it. And for the ones interested in the multiplayer, to be fair, I didn't check multiplayer now. I was playing it pretty extensively when it came out in a few years after that. And, and yeah, it's it's basically a horde mode. So yeah, just, just stick to the single player. Overall, Mass Effect game was pretty disappointing Mass Effect game, but it was somewhere between above average to well, almost good RPG. Despite what people are saying and despite what I was thinking, now looking at it years later and just playing it again, it was pretty okay-ish. And, and certainly it's better than a lot of modern games. Just don't pay full price for that. Buy it on a discount or on a game pass. And don't expect the same signature Mass Effect as from the original trilogy. Just, just don't do that. You better go and play the original Mass Effect trilogy, Legendary Edition, if you want a true Mass Effect experience. This is like, well, let's like kind of an off-world adventure, which is well, okay at best. But for the 749, it's pretty great. Well, this is it for today. Thank you for being here with me. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe for more videos like this one and I'm gonna see you in the next one. See ya.